What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, Chef Bello. Back with another banging video today, you guys. We got a McDonald's mug bag. We got these breakfasts. We need some breakfast. I got two sausages, biscuits. I got my biscuits and gravy. And it's banging, you guys. So I'm going to eat me some breakfast before I head on my mom's house, you guys. Today, maybe today, later on today, you guys, we're going to do those country fried southern style bologna sandwiches, you guys. With mayo, lettuce, and tomatoes. Fried bologna. Man, you know you guys love them fried bologna sandwiches. Country style. So we got our biscuits and gravy today. And it's banging. So you guys gonna get that gravy all in there. Ooh. You guys see that? That gravy all in there. Got my little small orange juice. Got my uh doing a quick video. Got my little black pepper. Got my little black pepper. Look at that, you guys. Bring me one thing of salt. Put some salt on there. That's enough of that. Got that jelly jam. Oh, wait. Dump it in my gravy. Mmm. Mm. It's good. Just take this. Dump it right in your spice. Mmm. 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 Mm. I'm at McDonald's, you guys. For anyone tuning in, this is your boy, your fellow. And I'm doing a McDonald's mug mine mm. on a breakfast. I'm going to cut my biscuits, you guys. I like them tore up in there. I'm going to show y'all. Yeah. I'm getting excited, you guys. Cut the breath or something. Like that. And bang. Mm -mm -mm. I don't care about myself. I snuck off and left everybody in the bed. Hmm? Going to my mother's house. I said, let me go. Even though mama be making breakfast in the morning, I'm just like McDonald's. Mm. I come up here when the old people come up here, read the newspaper, look at their coffee. And also, I like the soft sausage from Ed and the Grill. That's good too. Mm. Mm. I know. We got this one here. We're going to put some jelly. I'm gonna put some jelly on this one, you guys. See this? Ah. I'm gonna sort that jelly out. That's that country stuff, you guys. Sort that jelly out on there. Ah. Yeah, I don't know about that. That country stuff. You guys, we got another week before we open at the spot. I'm so excited. Look at this, you guys. Jelly jam. 
on that biscuit. I'll take it put it right on top of there. Then we got us a bangers on we cook. Mmm. But you know what? We're gonna go to Waffle House and we're gonna go to Square Pancakes and do a Monday. Also, Hardy's Hardy's got some kind of good old little breath going over there. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Back to this. Mmm. Gotta love it. Mmm. Yeah, well. hmm. Back to the blood mail. It ain't right if it ain't cut it. And it's biscuits ain't torping. That's not right. You gotta have them biscuits torping it. See them biscuit mama made? Lay lay down in that gravy like the old school Fleetwood Cadillac. <laughs> and it's it. I'm telling you, man, them biscuits lay down in there. McDonald's wanna be greedy with that gravy. Mm. This is a beautiful Sunday, you guys. For anybody tuning in, smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to the button. Subscribe and notification. Notification the bell so you can hear me when I tell y'all. It's banging. Mm -hmm. Good morning. That's my son. He's 14 now. My baby son. I mean, you want to work at McDonald's? Start off at McDonald's, the Zoli's, Dairy Crumb. I don't want to work at McDonald's. Oh, wow. I just don't. He said, just don't want to work at McDonald's. You want to work at Foot Locker? Finish line? No. I don't know. You know, we're somewhere in a minute, boy. I'm teaching you responsibility. Hmm? Whoever got my money in my wallet. Got to cash at me $50. Really? They told me cash at me $50. And when he got to school, he texted me. He had the nerve to text me. Where's the money at? I told my wife, you better get this up. I'm gonna knock her ass out. Huh? McDonald's mud bag, guys. I think I'm getting some breakfast. But let me turn on the camera. I've been gone for a couple of days, you guys. I'm busy. Sports. My oldest son is moving out of his apartment and he's moving back in for a little bit. I've been helping my son out. Everybody go through things, you know. Gotta help. Gotta help everybody. Hell, even I need help sometimes. Other guys need help. Hey y'all, uh, it's a dirty game they play out here. And you gotta make sure you win. Huh? If you don't, you lose. Every time you lose out here. If you think you lose, 
Two hard yellows. Don't drink. Just do it. Let your dreams come to you. Mm -hmm. You'll never give up your dreams. My dream is being one of the biggest YouTubers that ever lived to do this shit. I love killing people in my life. Come on. There's a ghost out of here. It is Sunday. I'm thinking, where are all the old people be at? Bad church. And then brushing them old stations off. They had since 72. Brushing them off. You know that old black stuff? My daddy used to give me his shoes. Show me so I can do my, my parents' military. Put a little black stuff in a can. Take it out, put it on a towel or something. Just buff the stations off. I had this shit all across the carpet one day. And I said, boy, I told you to buff the shoe. Now brush the carpet. I had them black stuff everywhere. But he was just teaching me man's type of things. I love the dress up. We got four pair of stasis. I got three pair of cowboy boots, snake skin boots. Because when I go down south, we book Stuggy, baby. My people, we dance. I want to buy my wife some, but she don't like them. I don't want no cap. I'm so bad, man. You can wear the cowboy boots and put your jeans inside. She's like, I don't know. That's, that seems kind of cute. Then I said, well, you put on your little cowboy hat with it. She's like, that's kind of cute. I might try that. Mm, okay, whatever. Well, I'm ready to go scooby. Because me and my brother, my mama, my daddy, we get on the dance floor. We fucking work through. Man, look. It's done. I'm full. I really am. I want to say thanks for tuning in today. So now I'm going to go here and see my mama, Medea. So that's what they call my mama. She going to cuss at me. She don't even know I'm coming. So what I'm going on here this time. And that mama, it's only 8 o'clock. It's time to get up. I'm up. She's, my mama be up at 5 o'clock in the morning cooking collard greens and cabbage. You like mom? I can call her because when I used to drive, I used to get up four o'clock in the morning and call her, and let her know I'm on my way to work. And she'd be asking me where I'm going. She's trying to be way out in Milwaukee, Chicago. I drove, drove for years, and I cooked in the kitchen for years. Now I'm done with everybody. Myself, and only myself. I should do. What I'm gonna do for you, nigga? I'm gonna do it for myself. Feel me? Got a little thuggish right there. Sometimes it comes out when it have to. So listen. So I call my mama. It's mama. What you doing? And I'm sitting here. I got these ogres and butter beans out, and I got a pot of greens on, and uh, I got some cabbage, fried cabbage, corn, cornbread, cause uh. You know, Clarence, them coming up from St. Louis, and I took the day off so I could have something to cook for them. Big tails and everything. Six o'clock in the morning. Shit, I'll be full just listening to her on the phone. When I come back, and hey, only thing left is on the inside of the pot. Them greens be stuck to the pot. They've been raking so hard. Damn it. Tired, huh? Now, yeah, I'm about to creep over to Grandma's house. I want to show you guys my mom. I want to say thanks for tuning in with your boy, Chef Fellow, today. It's been a banging video, man. We're doing a McDonald's mug bag. Mm -hmm. so. Two slices, biscuits, biscuit, and gravy. Now, normally, I would have I would have went somewhere like, I come here sometimes, you know, get something quick. My daughter, she liked the big, the hot breakfast, the pancakes and sausages, eggs. But anyway, normally when we do go out as a family for breakfast, we'll go to Lincoln Square Pancakes where they got that real stuff. Oh man, I like that strawberry pancakes, blueberry, cava, all that stuff. Chicken and waffle, you know, 
which I don't go out that much to eat because I can cook it at home. You know, I know the same types of recipes that they're using in their restaurant I can use it at home. So, why go spin out when I cook it at home? And then also I can show you guys. But uh, the next show we'll be doing is that we're going to do some fried bologna sandwiches. You know that thick cut bologna come in that little red package. Just cut it how you want it. Cut it thin, thick, 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 thick. Cut it a little thick. And I'm going to fry it down until we get it nice and burnt. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Fried bologna sandwich ain't good until it's burnt. So you might think it's nasty, but it's delicious to me. And some beef. And put some bacon and tomatoes and lettuce and red onions on that thing. Man, I tell you. I tell you, you eat one of them sandwiches, you ready to go to sleep. I guarantee you be ready to sleep out the work. Man, I'm being a quick update on that pig head. We're going to start probably Saturday. I'm going to do it Friday. Take it out Friday. We're going to do a show on a Saturday. We're going to brine it. We're going to brine it in a bucket for about 24 hours. And then we're going to take it out. I'm basically going to, uh, I'm either going to smoke it in my grill or I might smoke it in the ground. My auntie said, yep, smoke it in the ground. So I might dig a hole. We got wood and coal. And bet we're going to leave that pig head in the ground for at least about six to seven hours. I'm let it just cook in the ground. And then I'm going to cut you guys back on, do a part two. Once it's getting close to get done, I'm not going to run a whole video for that many longer. My camera shut off on me anyway, to tell you the truth. So we're probably running an hour or two, part one. Um getting everything dry rub, getting injected and getting it wrapped in lumen foil because we're gonna use butcher paper. Once we get it, we're gonna inject it with garlic, apple cider vinegar, all that good stuff. Then we're gonna go with a heavy, heavy, heavy dry rub on it. And then we're gonna drizzle it down in uh, olive oil, all that good stuff. Then we're gonna wrap it in butcher paper. Then we're gonna wrap it in lumen foil. We're gonna dig our hole. We're gonna lay our lumen foil down in the hole. We're gonna pay Put some hot coals in there. And then we're going to lay that pig head down in there. And then we're going to lay some hot coals on top of that pig head. And then we're going to lay some dirt on top of the coals to pack it down. But also we're running a metal, metal little thin little bar through the pig head. So we, when we let it down, on each end we still can bring it up. My son bring it up my other end. I bring it up on the other end. We're sitting on the table. And all we're going to do, I'm a, what I'm going to do, they're going to watch. I'm going to start eating ears and everything. Yeah. I'm going to start eating the ears, give me some hot sauce and mustard and some onions, tomatoes. Got me a cold beer at the Super Bowl game. I'm eating me like a roasted hog by myself. And my mama want the nose. She said, yeah, I want the snout. So mama getting the snout, man. Mama getting the snout. My auntie said, I ain't going to lie. And she would tell you guys. I mean, I'm just telling you what she said she wanted. Y'all think I'm crazy, but my people, they get down. My auntie want the brains. My auntie, she take the brains and cook it down with eggs. Pig brains, she take it and cook it with eggs. So that's what she want, the brains. So I want to say, <laughs> I know, I ain't going that far now. I get the ears, jaws, they eat pig feet, pigtails, hog balls, the same thing, just the head. They're just the head. And my people, we cook whole, whole hogs down south where we from. We roast them all the time. Like for uh, 4th of July and like family reunions, we kill a hog and roast. Or we do a goat or we do a cow. But I want to say thanks for tuning in today with your boy Chef Fellow. If I don't do this dish today, that's because my brothers, them, they have tickets. They want to go. So if I don't do this, this video tonight of this fried bologna sandwiches, I guarantee I do it probably tomorrow. Because my brothers them have six tickets to the comedy show tonight. Mike Epps, uh, all them guys from uh, Wildin' Out, they going to be there downtown. You know, I live in Indianapolis, so the All-Star game is coming in. You know, All-Star in Indy this year, so we got the All-Star game downtown. So there's a lot of celebrities coming in. They're doing shows. So I'm going to go out and I might bring my camera out. Mm hmm. Hmm. We're back with a banging video. So thanks for tuning in today on this McDonald mug bang. You guys, I really appreciate you guys. I just had me some biscuits and gravy and two sausages. 
I was guaranteed I was about to get Nito's. Next time we'll get those breakfast burritos. I like the breakfast burritos. But thanks for watching. I hope everybody have a blessed and safe Sunday. And this is your boy, Chef Fella. And I'm back with a banging video. Have a good day, everybody. I'm out.